Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Murakami Chronicles. Today we are going to do my January book haul. And it is extremely big. I didn't realize while I was buying books that it got crazy. But you know, life happens. So let's just dive in. First off, let me quickly mention the book that I couldn't show in my Christmas haul because it didn't arrive on time and it is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the illustrated edition. It is gorgeous and I cannot wait to dive into it. Let me quickly show you the art style. It is beautiful. So it's just fantastic and I cannot wait to go through this and look at the pretty images. First, let me show you the books I got from a book depository. It was my first time ordering for a book depository and I really enjoyed my uh, experience with them. I've heard a lot of people say that it could take up to eight weeks coming to Canada, but I didn't have that issue. It took about five days for each of those books to arrive from their uh, deportation date. Is that a word? First, I picked a book I've been eyeing for a while but I didn't want to pick it up because it was expensive but it wasn't sale so I picked up The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James and I've heard very good things about this all I know it's that it's a sci-fi and it takes place in space and a little girl is all alone on a spaceship and somebody's coming towards her I don't know that's pretty much all I know but yeah it's beautiful Next, I picked up some dystopian or uh, sci-fi classics. The first two I got are in the first two I got. Sorry, are in the vintage collection, and it's weird because they're not on this in the same size. But who knows what happened with that? The first one is *The Brave New World* by Aldous Huxley, and I don't. Uh, I know it's dystopian. It's probably all I need to know. Um, I just. I've been meaning to read this for a little while and it was cheap so you know. I also got The, Handsma the Handmaid's Tale by uh, Margaret Atwood. It, this is my first Atwood book and I'm very excited about it. Can't wait to read it and maybe watch the TV show. Next I've got two sci-fi uh, classics. The first one is this beautiful edition of Philip K. Dix, uh, Do Enjoy uh, Dream of Electric Sheep. And I cannot wait to collect all of his books in this edition if I really enjoy this one. And there's also Dune by Frank Herbert. Herbert. I don't know how to say that. And uh, you know, this is a very, very known sci-fi classic. So I've been meaning to read more sci-fi in general so I've heard so much good so many good things and I've been meaning to read this um, for five years now so I'm glad to have a beautiful edition I didn't want the mass market paperback because I hated it and this one is gorgeous this is the 50th anniversary edition next we have uh, my book outlet order for this month and the first one is a natural history of dragon a memoir by Lady Trent by Mary Brennan I actually uh, started this on audio but didn't complete it uh, before it got removed from overdrive but I really enjoyed what I've been, uh, what I what I heard so um, I just love dragons and I think this is well I know this is definitely up my sleeve I just haven't uh, completed it and there's a lot of books in this so I'm pretty excited about it next I have the whole uh, fairyland series um, by Catherine M. Valente so let me go through them and I am very sorry because they will probably not be in order. First one, the girl who circumnavigated fairyland in a ship of her own making. The girl who fell beneath fairyland and led the revels there. The girl who soared over fairyland and cut the moon in two. The boy who lost fairyland. The girl who raced fairyland all the way home and those covers are beautiful and they were very very cheap. I was excited about it. I've been meaning to read more of Catherine M. Valente's writing. Next we have another thing that I've been meaning to read for a little while and it is a sci-fi anthology and that is Cosmic Powers and this is um, edited by John Joseph Adams and there's a story by Becky Chambers in there which is probably the only reason I got this <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of things from other authors that sounds very interesting so I cannot wait to read this but like the Beaky Chamber stories I need 
right now. Next is the name they gave us by Anne-Marie Lord and I have heard so many good things about this book so I had to pick it up so uh, yeah it's the only reason I know everybody raves about this. Next and finally in this pile is The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yoko Ogawa and um, so this is a story of a professor and a housekeeper and I think they fall in love and I'm not sure. I just heard 28 pages 52 uh, talk about this in our uh, recommendation for uh, Japanese um, literature so I will leave a link down below and I cannot wait to read this. It sounds so beautiful and when I saw it on Book Outlet I had to snatch it and it is also translated by Stefan Snyder. We're almost done. Uh, there's also books that I bought new at the um, bookstore. Yeah, uh, first is Beneath the Sugar Sky by Shannon McGuire. We all know what this is about. This is the third book in the Wayward Ch Children trilogy and I am currently reading it. I cannot wait to read more of it and have a little time to dive into this world again. Um, I'm just excited to have this in my hands. We also have Eliza and Our Monsters by Francesca Zappia and I've heard so many good things um, and I've heard that it is one of the best representations for anxiety and I am someone who suffers f from a lot of anxiety so I cannot wait to see if uh, the representation is as good as people say it is. Next we have The Edge of the Universe by Sean David Hutchinson um, who is the author of We Are the Ants which I have actually right here. We Are the Ants. Um, this is one of We Are the Ants is one of my favorite books of all time so I cannot wait to read more by him. I don't even know what it is about but I don't need to know what it is about. I just can't wait. I've got Zenith, the um, first book in the Androma Androma Saga. This is by Stasha Alsberg and Lizzie Cummings um, and you probably already know what this is about. This is the a story f uh, about female badass um, spaceship adventurers. Is that a word? <laughs> um, I just heard so many good things about this and I've been anticipating this because the premise sounds interesting and I love sci-fi and I just really wanted to see for myself if this is uh, gonna be worth the hype or anything and I just, I don't know, it sounds very interesting and I love that booktubers are putting out books because, um, I mean, I want to be an author someday if I have the time <laughs> to be an author and if, um, it would be very lovely for me to publish, sorry, a book. I just think it's important to support each other and it's so nice that when a booktuber comes out with a book. We have a final little stack and it is my graphic novels that I bought. Um, I'm gonna go very quickly through them because they're all sequels apart from one. So I have Saga Volume 8, so excited to finally pick this up. I've got Misfit City, uh, this is the first volume. I just think it looks gorgeous and beautiful as a story, so I cannot wait to dive into this. I also have Lumberjanes Volume 7, A Bird's Highest View. Just Lumberjanes is amazing, so you know. I also have Gotham Academy, Second Semester Volume 2, The Ballad of Olive Silverlock. I just, I love this series, so can't wait to see what it's like. And finally, is the fifth volume in the series I haven't started because I have a problem and it is Descender um, by uh, Jeff Lemire and Dustin Nugan and this is volume 5 uh, Rise of the Robots I just I've been meaning to read this series because it is sci-fi and it's about androids and I love androids sci-fi so you know I had to pick this up and I just feel like I need to binge read this this year yeah. so guys that's it for my uh book haul oh god it's falling it's it's a lot of books it's way too many books um it's it's already falling as you can see so I'm just gonna put it on the ground before it falls and it fails so <laughs> that was it for my book haul this month I hope you enjoyed uh, I went way too intense um, on this month. I will definitely be reducing my buying. You probably won't be seeing another book haul before the summer, I hope. 
um, because I need to uh, sa save money. Uh, I'm gonna leave this video here. Um, I hope you enjoyed this book haul. Uh, let me know down below if you read any of those books, if you want me to uh, prioritize any of those and I will be sure to put them on my list. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see if I succeed in reading all of those books because it's uh, way too much. Again, I, I have a problem. <laughs> have a very lovely day and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!